Okay, uh, hello. In this video, I wanted to go through um, one of the Blind Leak Code 75 challenges. Um, I've been looking at the linked list ones recently, so I wanted to look at the merge two sorted list one. I think this is going to be relatively easy, um, but it makes me slightly nervous. Um, so if we have a look at this, okay, so um, you're given two heads of two sorted lists, uh, list one, list two, uh, merge just into one sorted list, so it should be made by splicing together the nodes of the two sorted list. Return the head of the merge link list, so it's going to be uh, one, two, four, one, two, three, four, and then one, one. Oh, you keep so we keep duplicates in there, obviously. Well, obviously. Um, okay, so we need, uh, and then okay, so let's have a gander at doing this then. So we want to do something like by there. And we'll just, why is that kind of way over there? So I think intuitively the way to do this is to use the two pointers method, which is basically where what we're going to do is suppose we have two lists like this, uh, two, three, and then eventually it'll get to null. If you have two of these, and then this one, let's say, is like five, six, and then null eventually. What what we can do is we can go. All oh, right, I want to. We'll, we'll we'll take both of these, um, and we'll compare them. So the first time, we'll pick one of them because they're the same. So we pick one of them, and we advance the pointer. So let's say we advance the pointer so that this list is now pointing here. When we when we next move along, we've got one pointer on here and one pointer on here. So this next time, we're going to take this value. And then advance this one here. So we're now both here. Eventually, you're going to hit this null, which, and at that point, all you need to do is we need to take the rest of this other list. So wherever we were with the pointer on here, we just take the rest of it and add it to our list because we don't need to check anything else because there's nothing else to check it against. So just take the rest of the list, stick it on the end. So I think we can do that. Um, that that seems to be like the intuitive solution and. The time complexity, I think, is just um, well. I think it can be considered O n plus m, where n is the size of elements in this one, and m is the size of elements in this one. So let's do that. So what do we need to do first? Well, first we need to create like the the sort of list we're going to mess about with. So we'll just call it list and do new list node. Um, Let's just check that we actually do have a we do have a no 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 R constructor there, and then we want to do uh, a thing that we can mess about with, which is this. So we want the last value that we can manipulate as we go through. We went, then want to do while uh, list one val is one of those ways round. I've probably got that wrong. Let's just gloss over that for now. Oh, does it ha actually have val? Yeah, okay, it's val. Okay, cool. Um, so while that's happening, um, we want to say... Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to say while that's happening. We want to do this. That's the if statement. What we want to do in the while loop is do um, uh, while list one is not null and list 2 is not null yep uh, we'll do that. while those two are happening what we need to do is we need to basically reassign the values in, in a nice way and, and the way we need to do that is we need to do uh, how do you do that uh, it'll be so we've got the last one dot next to be equal to list one and then you want last mm, to be does that one just be equal to list one and then list one needs to be equal to uh, list one dot next I think this one dot next. I think that's right. It doesn't feel right, but I think that's right. 
and then we do the same thing for the opposite case. Um, so that's just increase that, increase that. Bloody Tmux, why is it not let me do it? Okay, cool. Um, so what should happen here is that let's say these two are the same, well then it will go to this one, and that doesn't matter because they're both the same. So the next time we'll come to this one. Uh, obviously, if this is lower, then we'll go here. And then uh, we need to just return list.next. The reason we need to return list.next is because this first one is just going to be like a blank value and we're putting stuff on top of it after the blank value. We don't care about the blank value. Um, oh, but of course we need to also check that um, here, if we've got, say, list1 is not null, so remember, when we come out of this while loop, because of the and condition here, one of them's going to be null. Um, both of them won't be null. So we need to check if this one's the one that's not null, we need a bung. Um, we need to say list.next is equal to list1. I think. That seems about right. And so that, that's accounted for the case where we've reached the end of one list and we've still got elements left on the other list, so we just need to stick them on top of the other list. So let's have a see if that works. Um, do that. No, I have made an egregious error. What is the egregious error I have made here? So these need to just be list. Oh, do I have to do? Does that want to be list? Maybe that wants to just be list. Because I'm not signing that anywhere. I've messed something up. What have I done wrong? Um, it's the right way around. Last on next is equal to that. Last is equal to next. Oh, list. No, we don't want to do that, do we? We want to do list one. That needs to be list, and that needs to be list two. So from here, do, 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 do. one of them messed up. It's returned four. I've got these in the right place. Yep. What have I messed up? Hmm. Can't see it. Being a thick. It's got to be so good. Have I even got it the right? I can't have. Uh, yep. That's right, and then that's right. Next, 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 next. next. Yep. Maybe that. Huh, absolutely not. So I was right with list, I think. Oh, of course we need to be right with this. And listen, it. oh, I'm assigning it there. But I'm not assigning list anywhere. Yeah, I've, I've 
balls this up. Do I even need both of those? Can I just get away with one? Mm. Ah, there we are. Okay, so I was just a moron. Uh, submit that. I don't think I even need that list value then, do I? I could just use that normally. Oh, boom! Well, look at that! 100% faster. And memory usage, not as good. Awesome! Cool! Uh, I guess that's it then. Au revoir.